This is LoomCube's Panel Mini. Is this the best light that LoomCube's ever produced? In this video, I'll give you some reasons why I think it might be. So, let's dig right in. Hi, Ison Phillips here. If you're new to this channel, I do tips, tutorials, and reviews about audio, video, and still photography. So if that's something you're into, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you won't miss future videos. This is the original LoomCube, one of the most innovative lighting products to ever hit the market. It's small, almost indestructible, waterproof, with a built-in rechargeable battery, and despite its small size, it was capable of lighting an entire room. It was an instant success with photographers, videographers, and filmmakers as a creative lighting tool, and it remains so today with the new upgraded 2.0 version. After the success of the original LoomCube, the company introduced its first LED panel light, and the original panel sold for $149, and was almost identical to similar lights selling for roughly half that price. Anyway, it had some impressive features. It was ultra thin, it was bicolor from 3200 degrees Kelvin to 5600 degrees Kelvin, with brightness levels adjustable in 5% increments controlled by three buttons on the side. The first button was the power switch, and the other two were plus and minus buttons for adjusting the brightness and color temperature. And although it has a lot of useful features, I've just never been crazy about the rectangular shape. And I didn't find it was that convenient to use, and I eventually came to see that the only reason for the $149 price tag was the LoomCube name and reputation. And even with the snap-on frosted diffuser, the light was still pretty harsh for most uses. And then came the panel mini. At first glance, I thought it was just a smaller version of the original panel. And while it has some of the same features, there are some major differences. First of all, it's slightly thicker than the original panel at a little less than half an inch. And like the original, the build quality is excellent. It has a metal body and the panel covering the LEDs not only acts as a diffuser, it also protects the LED lights inside should the light be dropped or crammed into a crowded bag. A little over three and a half inches wide and slightly over two inches high, and yes, it's about the same size as a credit card or a deck of cards, and it weighs in at only three ounces. It has 60 LEDs that combine to go from 3200 degrees Kelvin to 5600 degrees Kelvin via a toggle switch that allows you to match just about any type of lighting situation. Unlike the original, the Mini has a toggle switch instead of the two buttons that adjust the brightness level. You can go down to 1% and increase in increments of 5% until it reaches 100%. Runtime at 100% brightness is about one and a half hours and a little over two hours at 50% power. And like the original, the display gives you the time remaining at each power level. Pretty cool. One of the best features of this light is the level of diffusion. The frosted face by itself offers a level of diffusion, but LoomCube also includes a soft silicone diffuser that slips right over the light while still giving you access to all the controls and display, making the light even softer. This level of diffusion just increases the versatility of this light. With its small size, it's not suitable as a key light, but it makes a great little fill light. I use it as a fill light in my YouTube videos to slightly fill in on the shadow side of my face when doing talking head videos. It can also be used as an accent light for video backgrounds. I've even used it as a desk lamp when mounted on a Dinkum flex arm. I really like the fact that it has two quarter 20 mounting threads, one on the bottom and one on the side to give you two mounting options. It's also easy to slip into a camera bag or backpack. It doesn't take up much space and it can easily fit into your pocket or a purse. And with the included hot shoe, cold shoe mount, it can easily mount on your camera or any cold shoe smartphone mount. What makes this light one of LoomCube's best, if not the best in my opinion, is that it can be used by a wide variety of consumers. It's not just limited for use by photographers, content creators, and videographers. One of the most popular uses is lighting for Zoom and teleconferencing calls. And in today's work and learn from home social distancing atmosphere, it's become a consumer favorite. In fact, LoomCube offers the light in a teleconferencing kit that gives you everything you need for quick setup for Zoom, conference calls, or FaceTime calls. I'll leave a link in the description. There are a ton of small LED lights on the market, but what sets this panel mini apart, in my opinion, is its simplicity. There's not a lot of buttons and options to deal with. You only get what you need. A lot of the smaller LED lights on the market offer RGB with different creative lighting effects 
and those are great for creative use, but how often do most people need or even use those? Another plus for the Panel Mini is the price of $59.95. There might be similar lights out there that sell for less, but I doubt they can match the overall quality and convenience of the Mini. For what you get, I think it's fairly priced. I'll probably be buying a second one in the near future. At the time of this video, LumCube is announcing release of its newest panel, the Panel Pro. A panel about the same size as the original panel, but has RGB capability and can be controlled via the LumCube app. I'm sure there are already some YouTube videos reviewing this light, but what strikes me the most is the eye-popping price of $229. That would be a hard sell for me considering that there are a number of similar lights on the market selling for way less, such as the Bowling P1 that sells for $149. I'll also leave a link to that in the description. If you're looking for some budget lighting solutions for your videos or photos, check out some of my other lighting videos here. Be sure to like this video, hit the subscribe button, and click on the bell icon so you won't miss future videos. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.